Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Hilti Jackhammer. This is the Hilti TE3000 AVR. This thing is a brute, it's awesome, it's big, it's heavy, and it really does get the job done. So let's go over some details about this item. As I said, this is the AVR, so that stands for Active uh, Vibration Reduction. And that's Hilti's way of saying it's a lot easier on the, uh, on the user. It's a brushless motor, which is really great, so it, it means you're not having to maintain this thing as much. Um, it has about 50 foot-pounds of impact energy on it. And as I said, it weighs about 65 pounds. They say you can do about six tons of material per hour. So it's breaking six tons of material. Now I can't really judge that with what we've done, but I know it does break a lot of material very quickly. And I've noticed I'm not very fatigued when I'm using it. So it's, it's really nice. It has the uh, TE hex 28 self sharpening chisels. So we'll take a look at those. And it's got an active cooling system in it. So it keeps that motor cool and allows the machine to operate a lot longer. They're comparing this to a power, uh, like a, an air tool essentially. So they're saying that this device will, will operate the same as, you know, a large 65 pound air tool. Um, and the benefit to this is that it's corded so you don't have to be hooked up to a big compressor which is really, really nice. It takes the standard inch and an eighth chisels and overall, I really, really like it. I wish I could show you a comparison between this and the Bosch Brute. I have always used the Bosch Brutes probably 65% of the time compared to the Hilti. Just because where I rent them, they always had the Bosch Brutes. This unit right here comes with a really nice rolling cart. I quite like it. The uh, and another thing before I wheel it around is the cut the cord here comes right off the unit, just with a quick connect in here. So you just press that button, pull it out. I really like that feature, mainly for hauling this thing around. You, you know the cord gets caught sometimes, and it's just nice to be able to unplug that. The kit usually comes with a second cord, but let's take a look at the back. So this is where we keep all the chisels in the back here. Now they say they're self sharpening. We rented this unit and these were all like brand spanking new. So here's a, here's a brand new one and here's one that's been used for like 10 minutes. So basically identical bits. This has got a super, super fine point on it. And after 10 minutes of use, you can see how rounded over that is. So the self sharpening, I'm not entirely sure what they're implying there. Um, I mean, I saw some other bits at the store that were just mutilated. I thought the ends looked more like that. So that's why I asked for the new one. Now, this bit here is a chisel bit and it was super pointy just like this bit here and now it's like very very rounded over and that is only after a day of use on some concrete nothing nothing crazy probably three hours of use so it's not that it's not going to work properly it's just they don't look as pretty and nice when you get them. They, they round over very, very fast. So they give you all these bits with the kit. The rolling cart itself is pretty slick. There's no bungee cords involved. There's this really nice handle that just holds it in. And now we can take it out. And then this just slides down and locks the unit in place. So slick design, no bungee cords. I know the Brute Jackhammers, they're always using bungee cords on their carts. And I don't know if they've improved on that, but it was always just a bungee cord. So for me, I found the difference between this unit and the Bosch Brute. 
I like this unit a lot more. It, it seems just a little more gentle on my body. Being on these things for a long time, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. You get tired quickly, um, especially when you have to move them around or if you're, you're breaking up concrete that's on like a weird angle or something like that. It's just, uh, it's nice to have a little bit less vibration. So that's my personal opinion. Um, I just prefer the Hilti over the, over the Bosch. Now, price point, this is a lot more expensive. Now, it depends on where you're buying it, but I've seen this one for as high as like 4,300 bucks. And I think the 2,000 is around 33, 3,500 bucks. This is Canadian. And then the, um, the Bosch Brutes are usually around 2,500 from what I've seen. So huge difference in price. And I think that's because the Hilti is just built a little bit better. Now they offer a two year warranty on them and a lifetime guarantee on some parts and stuff like that. So uh, it's, it's a really good system. If you're into Hilti, it's very expensive, but you'll have this stuff forever. My concrete coring company that I use, he's had a Hilti since the day he started. So I think it's like 15 years, 16 years, maybe even longer. And it, we, we tried it out as well, and it's just the same as a brand new one. He has the Hilti 3000, and honestly, they're, they're like the same thing. So I don't know if they've improved too much on the inside, but uh, they're just, they just last forever. So you can't go wrong if you buy the Hilti. So I really like them. I've always struggled, should I buy one? Because it is a major investment, and I don't break a lot of concrete. And, uh, you know, maybe once a year, once every couple of years, I need something like this that's just a lot larger than what I own. And uh, especially if you're doing like basement bathrooms or, or what we're doing right now is we're just taking out some foundation wall and having to break it up so the excavators can pull it out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite an investment, you know, four grand. It's um, something you definitely have to think about. Is it worth it? Because again, when I'm buying a tool, I want to make sure that I can make my money back on that tool and then it's going to save me either time or it's going to save my body and it's going to last. So those are the main, main reasons why I haven't bought a Hilti because I don't use it enough and I just can't warrant you know, owning it. So I rent and uh, this is a rental here as well. But it's brand new. So... Thought I'd give you a, a little show. So uh, yeah, that's kind of all I got to say about these jackhammers, you know, they're big and dirty. Here we've got one of my helpers giving me a hand breaking, breaking up this foundation. This foundation on this house was 11 inches thick, which is crazy. The back half was 11 inches thick and the front half was eight inches. So I'm not sure what happened when these people were building this house, but we we found that using this healthy jackhammer if you just when you're breaking it if you just do cuts in a row so you just jackhammer you know down an inch and a half roughly and you just move over four inches and you just keep doing that and you get to the edge the concrete will snap in half even though it's 11 inches thick it it works it's very easy to break it up into smaller pieces so that you can you know manage it with a small excavator or a large excavator but uh, yeah that's sort of what we're doing here is just breaking up this foundation into smaller pieces so that we can use it also make sure that you really wear eye protection and ear protection with this stuff and if you can get a dust extractor or wear a mask because you know you don't want to be breathing in this concrete dust it's really not good for you I know we're not wearing a mask here in the video, but uh, we were outside and, well, I can't make everybody do something that they don't want to do. So we were breaking up this foundation. It took maybe two hours this day of concrete breaking and the fatigue was minimal. It was very, very easy. One guy was on it the whole time and, uh, it, you know, it was very, very easy to do. We also had to break out some footings and he wasn't tired, so... Big plus on this uh, AVR technology. All right, guys. So I hope you liked that uh, action video going on there. 
Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, keep on crushing it. Catch you later.